Hey friend, I wanted to quickly show you how to debug a Node.js project using Visual Studio Code. If you have any experience debugging Node.js in the past, you might remember that you had to depend on using a browser, more specifically Chrome for me. Fortunately, debugging with Visual Studio Code has evolved into something a lot more streamlined. And in just a few steps, you are up and running with your debugger. That said, let's quickly jump right in and start debugging. Now, before you can do anything, you need to have a Node.js app that you want to debug. I'm just going to quickly create one by making an empty folder and adding an app.js file inside the folder. In the app.js file, we need an entry function which we can call main. Now let's define main and create some local variables that we can inspect with the debugger. I'm also going to call an add function so we can set ourselves up for debugging call stacks and closures. To finish up with creating a sample project, I'm going to add the body of the add function. To debug anything with Visual Studio Code, you need to create a launch.json file. This file tells Visual Studio Code your type of project and the entry point of your project. So open the run and debug menu from the sidebar and click create a launch.json file. Set the value of the program property to the entry file of your project. Mine is app.js and can sometimes be index.js or whatever your jam is. Now that you have a launch.json file, the run and debug sidebar now shows a play button to start the debugger. But before that, let's find a good spot to add a breakpoint. When we are calling the add function is a perfect place because we would have some initialized local variables to inspect while debugging. Once you have the breakpoint added, start the debugger by clicking the play button or hitting F5. The program immediately pauses at the breakpoint for you to inspect. From the sidebar, we can inspect all the variables before the breakpoint. As you can see, X and Y have been successfully initialized but since we broke at when added was declared, it is yet to be initialized. We can also inspect all the node globals. I usually come here when I need to get inspired by some of the existing node global functions or properties. The closure shows you all the functions that are called in this scope. In this case, it's the add function. A very handy feature is the watch section where you can log values or even create expressions. To continue execution and exit the breakpoint, click the continue icon. We have seen the continue control from the debugger controls, but what do the rest do? Let's start the debugger again and find out. Step over allows you to move to the next line. And as you can see, added is undefined because the line the post has not yet been executed. If you still want to keep debugging but execute this line, click step over. Now added is 11. The restart control restarts the execution but will break again because we still have the breakpoint. Step into allows you to step into the body of a function if you want to dive deep into what is happening with a function that you are calling. Step out is the opposite of step into. When you are satisfied with debugging the nested function, you can get back to the caller with step out. I think this is a great time to mention the call stack. When we step into the function, the call stack is updated to let us know that main is calling add. Finally, we can stop the execution with the stop button. Now I'm hoping you found these tips useful and I'm always very open to hearing your thoughts so please leave a comment. Thank you for watching.